Welcome to This Week in Colorado Soccer, coming to you from Fate Brewing Company right here in Boulder, Colorado. Danny Sanchez, Eric Poloni. Coach, couple of games this weekend, Friday, Cincinnati in town. Let's get right to it. Aaron Greening, 48th minute, opens up her CU scoring account. Yeah, we came out a little slow on Friday, um, but second half, uh, right off the bat, we, I think it's the 48th minute, um, Sarah Kinsner, freshman, played a nice little through ball to, to Aaron, and it was really a great one-time finish. Um, a little disappointed that we didn't get the second goal to kind of put the game away. We were under some pressure late in the game, but Cincinnati's a good team that's had some good results, so it was, a, it was a very good result for us at home on Friday. And, of course, Sunday, 2-1 win in overtime. Buffs were down most of that game. Danica Evans uh, on a great play by, uh, great cross by Bree Hooks to get the equalizer late in the game. And then, of course, Aaron Greening tackled in the box, penalty kick taken by Bree Hooks to seal the deal. Yeah, you know, we, we gave up the early goal to Iowa State, which was uh, which disappointing. I mean, Iowa State came in with a 4-1 record and a win over a top-10 team, so we knew we couldn't dig ourselves a hole, so of course we immediately dug ourselves a hole. Um, but I was really pleased with how we responded. So I felt the rest of the first half we played very well. The second half we, we sent tons of numbers forward. Uh, really were on, the, were on the press the whole time, but sometimes you don't get a goal. But it was a, it was a good individual effort from Bree to, to get the cross off, and Danico's in the right spot um, to get the equalizer. And at that point, you know, we really felt we were going to get the winner. Um, Bree almost got it right at the death, right in the 89th minute. Um, and then over time, uh, nice ball, Sarah out to, to live. Olivia swings it in and Aaron gets taken down the box and then Bree calmly slots on the PK. So I think it was a well-deserved win and it was a good uh, a mental test for us to, to come from behind against a good team. And if Bree would have cashed that one in as the time was expiring in regulation, that would have been goal of the year nominee for sure. Well, it, it would have got us out of there about 15 minutes earlier. So we didn't mention that to her, but we can hang around for an extra 15 minutes for a winner. No problem with that. Anytime you win, it's a good thing. Yes, it we is. We did catch up with Bree Hooks right after the game. We came out second half with more intensity and we were playing harder and we had the urgency knowing we had to go to goal and get that equalizer goal and I think we came out second half with that energy and we got the goal we needed to get. And I think it was really good of Aaron to go in on that tackle hard and draw that foul and I was just thinking of placing it into the corner and how important it would be to get that goal. Coach, we like to be social here on This Week in Colorado Soccer yes, and uh, Twitter is our vehicle of choice so if you are not following us uh, Colorado Soccer on Twitter, you should. Yes. And of course, tweeting at us at the hashtag Twix. And of course, we've got a couple of tweets. We're blowing up this week. It's, it's, it's growing it's, every week. It's growing week. every week. Uh, you know Eduardo, I think. I may have met him before. May yes. have met him before. Uh, he's got a couple of tweets this week, one, uh, one serious, one fun. But uh, so far, he wants to know which players' performances are you most surprised or impressed with this season? Well, I think that some of the players have really uh, stepped up their game. I think you know, moving Maddie Krause around to different positions and calling a hog. Both senior captains, very unselfish, all about the team, and they've done a great job moving different positions and, and doing a great job for us. Um, you know, I think obviously Aaron and Sarah um, have done well as freshmen and had some good moments, so we're happy, we're pleased with them. We got most of our players back healthy, so you know, we're, we're really pleased with a lot of the players, um, especially the, the younger players that are coming in. It's tough to break into an experienced team and, and some of them establish roles. Um, but six games in the season, so there's still plenty of uh, roles to be earned, and uh, we're looking forward to seeing how the rest of it plays out with some of these individual players. And of course, a serious question. Here's a hypothetical situation, once again from Eduardo. Wants to know in a staff pickup game, 90 minutes in, game tied, penalty in the box, which of the staffers would step up, step up, take that kick? Well, I think, as you know, in overtime in the 90th minute, is, is fitness is going to be an issue. So I think we can immediately eliminate associate head coach Jason Green because um, he'll be running a lot wide but really not getting a lot done. You know, we'd like to see Annie Bruner, but she's a goalkeeper and we can't risk that. Now, Dave Morgan is the most fit coach on the staff, but I think at that point you really need composure and leadership. So I don't think there's any doubt that the head coach would step up and bury it at that moment. But that's a great question, Eduardo, and it's, it's a scenario that could play out, but I think that's probably how it would play out. Sounds good. And of course, uh, one last tweet uh, from Heather. She wants to know, will Ralphie be running this season at Prentup Field? And the answer is? Of course. Sunday, October 11th against Washington State. Um, we're calling it Soccer Fest. It's Oktoberfest. It's Oktoberfest. It's Oktoberfest. Thank you. It's no, that's okay. It's Oktoberfest against Washington State. It'll be a huge Pac-12 Pac matchup for us. So Ralphie will be out there. So mark your calendars. We have a lot of games for them, but mark your calendars for uh, Sunday, October 11th. It's always one of the biggest events of the year, get early, get some uh, photos with Ralphie, the most uh, famous mascot in all of college athletics. Got to love the uh, wordsmiths over there in our marketing department yes. putting together a little play on words yes. for us. And then Coach, uh, back to uh, Action Friday, Colorado Cup at the University of Denver. 
talk a little bit about that game. That is going to be live on Altitude. So if you can't make it out to Cyber Field, uh, check that out. But Coach, what we're do we excited. Got? Every time we play DU, we know it's going to be a battle. Um, you know, it's our last game of the Colorado Cup. We kind of control our own destiny. We got a, I think we're plus three in the goal differential and tied with Colorado State with points. So Colorado State plays UNC on Sunday. So hopefully we can put a lot of pressure on them. We know it's going to be a tough game. Seven o'clock is going to be a great atmosphere at DU. Um, so our local Denver supporters, even our Boulder ones, 45 minutes, get there early. Um, but it'll be a great matchup on uh, Friday. And then, of course, Sunday, Northwestern in town. That game live on the Pac-12 Network, 1 p.m. at Prince Up Field. Talk a little bit about that game. Yeah, I mean, I think it's... Uh, I think right now Northwestern's 4-1-1. One one. They've had some very good results so far. It'll be probably a game similar to Iowa State. It's a team that's going to be pushing for an NCAA tournament bid. It's doing really well in the non-conference play. It's another home game where we expect a, a big crowd, um, and it's a match that as we look forward to November, Pac-12 play, and then November, it's a game where we need to get a result. So um, I think our team is slowly progressing and becoming more consistent, and, and we're looking for two really good performances this weekend. And we've got Ralphie's Green Stampede out there on Sunday. Early arriving fans will get an eco-friendly eco-friendly reusable bag say that six times fast so uh, once again follow us on twitter you can follow us all season on cubuffs.com soccer we'll see you next week